This new award recognizes the extraordinary set of skills possessed by directors of multi-camera programs. They need exceptional communication skills, eye school judgment, and an instinctive understanding of what an audience wants to see. This year's nominees work their magic on drama, comedy, and entertainment bear moths. The nominations are... Director Multicamera. Nikki Parsons, Strictly Come Dancing. Juliet May, Miranda. But I can't get you out of my mind. I'm in love with you. <laughs> Miranda, will you? Miranda? Hmm? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Yes, no, don't think about him. Don't miss him. Tony Prescott, Coronation Street live episode. Jonathan Bullen, The X Factor. goes to Tony Prescott for Coronation Street. <laughs> Surprise! Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, BAFTA. <laughs> uh, lost for words, and for a scouter, that's very unusual. Um, do you know when um, you're playing football, when you're a young boy, and you walk out onto that pitch and... Uh, all the kids come round you and they run off with your ball and you're left standing by yourself. That's what this lot did to me on the live. <laughs> there I was thinking I was great and they took it away from me by day three of rehearsal. So to you, I salute you, thank you very much. I'm not gonna mention all the names because everybody was a hero that night but there is one person I do want to mention and that's the head of production of Coronation Street, Claire Ormerod. Claire, Claire made this happen. You know, in these days of tight budgets and difficulty in making things, not once did she say no. To Claire, I love you. Thank you for working with me. This is for you as well. To Coronation Street, thank you. When were you approached to do this? Um, Phil Collinson, the producer of Coronation Street, approached me last summer. Um, I suppose I had a pedigree because I'd done the uh, 40th anniversary live, which by no means was anything like of the um, standard of this one. Um, so it was a great honour to be asked again, so I must have done something right the first time. And how much time do you get to prepare and rehearse the actors? Um, I think I had two days to camera script it and then I had a week to prepare and rehearse the actors. And just give us some stats, how many cameras, how many people involved on the night? It was a huge operation. We had uh, 28 cameras, about 180 crew, um, 70 actors, uh, massive piece of logistical uh, um, magic really. Yeah. Um, Lots of people who'd been involved in theatre in the past, so they all knew the ropes in so far as getting actors onto the stage. And just, a gr you know, a great lot of nerveless people. Yeah. I, you know, the, imagine, just imagine when you watch drama and you see 
how many shots there are in, in, a, in an hour's length of drama. We had one person, one lady, Linda Kelly, vision mixing every single shot the viewer's yeah. seen. Absolutely p remarkable piece of craft, you know, and if BAFTA should celebrate some of the crafts that are involved in that, you know, they're all there to, to see, really. And every shot we saw was live? Every single shot, there was nothing pre-recorded, not even any of the graphics. So anything go wrong that we didn't see? Uh, no, nothing went wrong. Wow. This was the amazing thing yeah. about the whole thing. Uh, it was blessed from start to finish. So you must have been pretty happy when it was over. Well, I was happy, yeah. yeah. I was really happy, but I'd, I'd felt like, you know, ITV Granada in, in the north has been a, a, a centre of excellence for many a year. And a lot of this, the talent and the latent skills that uh, people had up there, they haven't had an opportunity to use them yeah. for a number of years. And um, given the live, they were able to operate. It was a great programme. Thank you very much. Thank you.